It's freaking snowing, isn't it? Oh, I needed these two pairs of um, trousers. It was so cold and perfect timing. Just got back and, okay, story time about that. Freaking Gusto box. I was having a look last week to see recipes they had. It must have been a couple of weeks actually ago and I thought that I had a look and then that was it. But obviously I ordered a box. And I completely forgot about that. Forgot that I ordered the box because last night I got an email saying, here's the information about your box arriving tomorrow. I was like, what's that for? Anyway, it was so, it was so good to see Maggie. I'm still loving these plaits. <laughs> I already feel like I'm in too deep. <laughs> <sighs> why why do i have so much stuff i think i just might eat it all tonight and then just be done with it start with a blank canvas <laughs> start with the start with the marmite peanut butter anyway oh i don't have even any bread <sighs> ready wait i'll, I'll, I'll flip you around ta-da i know it looks so crowded still and I do need a spice rack because these are just stressful because I never know what's where. But it's quite well organised. For some reason I've got about 10 tins of beans. Because before my plates were here and everything was constantly falling into them. So I've moved the plates over here. And then up here are my glasses, my cereal and my kitchen towel. And then there's just some like odds and ends over here let's put that away up there the mugs are here <laughs> oh <laughs> grim here's my gusto box i thought i'd open it on camera um even though i as i said earlier i completely forgot that it was even arriving uh, this is not sponsored in any way um if you did want to try it I will put a code because you know anyone who refers anyone it means that you get credit and I get a credit off mine which obviously no what's the word no pressure no obligation just thought I'd put it there just in case you fancy it so in this box this week these are all vegan meals we have smoky aubergine avo lettuce tomato sarni yum we have tangy vegetable pad thai, yum yum. Roasted squash grain bowl and a miso tahini dressing, yum. And mm, 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 tomato and olive spaghetti with a caper crumb. D freaking delicious. So let's put these cards up here. So it comes like this. They put like the spices and stuff in these boxes and they've got a number on them which makes, which matches up with the number here. So you know which ones to put together. And you've got the fresh ingredients here and the chilled ingredients. Ooh. I don't even know what's chilled here. Oh, that's a lot of waste of packaging for this. You don't even need to chill olives. Oh, anyway, white miso paste. Okay, well that's a lot of waste. Um, but these packs here, they're just ice. So what you can do is you can defrost them and then you can use the water and water your plants. That's what I'm going to do. It is good that they use zero plastic, so that is good. Ta-da! Yum. I'm hungry. I'm going to... 
Came to bed and eat like normal. <laughs> Time to take up my hair. Mm. Wow. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, I feel like a model. <laughs> I had no idea it would turn out this well. <laughs> that live was so good. Just chill. Everyone was commenting on my hair. <laughs> I just love it so much. <laughs> I don't want to sleep on it. Good morning. I slept in my headphones, my hoodie my joggers my socks oh no i took my socks off in the night <laughs> google what's the weather like today right now in london it's minus two degrees with snow showers today there will be snow showers with a forecast high of zero and a low of minus two due to current wind conditions it feels like it's minus six <sighs> let's go have a look Oh, it's chilly. <clears throat> I had really weird dreams. Oh, let's see if my hair is still intact. <laughs> Ish. Oh, wow. Need to tell. Okay, let's put some slippers on. <gasps> There's a light dusting on the roads, on the roof. I'll show you. I'll zoom in. See? <laughs> I'm so tired. No, I don't feel tired. I just feel like sluggish, like I need to be invigorated. This weekend, I think it was the amount of sleep that I got. It feels like the first weekend in so long that I've actually had a rest, which feels great. Because I didn't do any editing. I didn't do any filming. That guacamole yesterday was amazing. I know. So I pretty much fell asleep um, listening to my audiobook last night. And I've got like 20 minutes left. I've listened to the whole thing this whole weekend. Uh, like nine hours of it. So I'm gonna finish that this morning. It was quite good, a bit annoying, but quite good. Coffee. Oh, oh, perfect and um, porridge because it's freaking cold today. Oh, I was going to put banana on it. It's got banana in it. I don't need another banana. Oats, banana, cinnamon, seeds, soya, maple syrup. <laughs> mm. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm. 
it's so cold in this house. My teeth are cold. Um, I've just made my leftovers for lunch from yesterday, but I'm actually having greens. I think I haven't had vegetables since Thursday. Well, I had guacamole. That doesn't count, does it? <laughs> so, yeah, we're having some vegetables and the leftover pasta. And I've been listening to a murder podcast, which I don't... I have, I like true crime, but I've never really listened to anything. So if you have any, like, tips on what to listen to, I'm listening to my favourite murder with Carol... No, with Karen... My favourite murder with Karen Kilgareth Gra- and Georgia Hardstark. So, yeah. And uh, it's horrifying. But, uh, yeah, that's my day. Oh, and I've been working this morning. This is my lunch break. <laughs> it's, um, oh, oh, it's snowing heavily now. Well, heavier than earlier. I need some water and a lot of tea because I'm cold, as you can see. <laughs> that rhymed. Let me show you the snow. It's even on my windowsill. Oh, people walking in the snow. <laughs> it feels really weird that it's snowing because the last time it snowed, I was at Bubble Friends. So I think this is the first time I've been here when it's snowed. Well, definitely like this, like this heavy. Because this is heavy for London, really, because snow never normally settles. Um... Yeah, in my blanket. I just, uh, this morning, I feel like my skin feels and looks so nice today. Don't get me wrong, I'm very lucky with my skin. But I never really do anything to it, so... Oh yeah, I was going to put a kettle on, wasn't I? Um, but this morning, I used this Drunk Elephant Serum that M gave me. When I helped her move, she gave me a bag of products, which was so grateful. So, so kind of her, and I'm very grateful for them. Uh, yeah, Drunk Elephant Sea Firma Day Serum. And this one as well, Drunk Elephant. They open like this. It took me ages to work that out. I was like, um, anyway, <laughs> I was like, oh, I really like this product. Let's uh, Google it to see how much it is. I shouldn't have done that because this is £67. So I really don't want to use it. So yeah, a bit gutted really. bit gutted really. Let's put the kettle on. What do I fancy? I don't want a coffee. I might have, oh, a hot lemon water maybe. Because I've got a couple of lemons that need using up. I know. Oh yeah, I was going to make a celery soup. Oh, I might do that now. I need to wash up though. <sighs> or I could make the soup later. <gasps> Mr. Creepy Santa standing at his window. Oh. Gingerbread. Homemade celery soup is just cooking. I just uh, cooked a onion and some garlic in the pan first then added chopped celery chopped potato and vegetable stock and now it's just simmering and I'm gonna blitz it all up when it's done I haven't seasoned it yet. Oh, it's so nice. It's so creamy. They did suggest putting milk in it, obviously plant milk, but maybe a touch of seasoning. You know what I might do? I might just spoon up my bowl and then season that instead of seasoning the whole thing. I'm actually really proud of myself for making this. <laughs> Firstly, for actually using up 
um, celery because so often I throw veg away. Not so often. I try. I haven't done it for a while, but for using up veg and uh, for actually making something nutritious for me. Because um, yesterday I ate that guacamole, and then I ate that ate that whole bag of crisps, and then I had pasta in the evening. So yeah, it wasn't the most nutritious day yesterday. So it's great to eat a bowl of goodness. Good morning. It's half seven, and it's still snowing. I mean, the outside still looks the same. But it's so cold. It does look magical outside though, it's lovely. Well, I've got dark under my eyes, I haven't even been wearing makeup. Who knows? <clears throat> I'm gonna read in bed for a bit because oh, I forgot that I did the washing up last night. <laughs> Points for me. Oh, and I've got some soup left over for today as well. I fancy a tea. I'm gonna have, ooh, a blueberry muffin tea. Hydration! just been sat in bed with my tea reading my book and um, my old neighbour who used to live in flat four she had some post arrive for her so I texted her telling her about it because it looked um, important and she just popped over to get it and she gave me how cute is this she gave me a little Starbucks card she walked over in the snow 30 quid Amazing! How generous! Wow! <laughs> I'm blown away by that. Oh, how generous! She said to me, do you like Starbucks? <laughs> and for some reason I just thought of her like bringing me a coffee. <laughs> Bear in mind, it's like icy outside. Um, and I said, oh, I've just had my coffee. Um, and she was like, no, I wasn't talking about that, but do you like it? How generous. Oh, how lovely. Um, she was the lovely neighbour who got me the Prosecco that, um, when she moved out because I helped her with something else. What did I help her with? Oh, yeah, I saved some parcels for her. Um, yeah, oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, I should probably go out today, but I'm so terrified of falling and hurting myself. Why do I look tanned? Yeah, I've been listening to such snow ASMR while sitting in bed and watching the snowfall, which has been gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Oh, I'm chuffed with that voucher. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking of all the treats I can get. I'm going to text her now and say thank you. So it's finally breakfast. I'm starving. What time is it? Half ten. I'm going to have uh, a rice cake with some fish. No, that's a joke. If you know that video. <clears throat> it's actually, is it, it's a whole... Anyway, smooth peanut butter. Oh. Well, these are stale. I would eat this peanut butter off of a shoe though, so. <laughs> I'm going to put some cinnamon. Oh, that's a lot. And some ground nutmeg. On my coffee to make it like Starbucks. <laughs> If you follow the YouTuber Megan Margot, she also does this. I haven't actually done it before. Let's have a test. I 
I mean, <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> mm. So today's outfit of the day is obviously headphones, hoodie, top under hoodie, scarf, blanket tied with a hair tie, uh, two pairs of trousers, socks and sheepskin slippers. <laughs> yeah, I got my leggings underneath my trousers and it actually is very good because I was sitting here cold like, oh, why don't they put the heating up? But my mum would tell me off for that. She'd be like, put an extra layer on. So I put an extra layer on. I'm going to have some of that soup for lunch. I think I'm going to add a bit of milk to it because it was a bit too thick last night. Also, I didn't buy those rice cakes. They came um, ages ago. I picked up some food from this guy on Olio and those were in it. So, yes. Let's get cooking. I literally love this cape. <laughs> I'm not even in focus yet and I can just see what I look like. <laughs> oh, it's the Stan State of Affairs. Um, this is the best soup I've ever eaten. It's so good. Just that bit of milk has given it, made it so creamy. Oh, I'm honestly so proud of myself. Because I always think that soups are annoying and difficult to make, and they're so not. They're so not. This was literally onion, garlic, celery, potato, stock. That's it. So, yeah. I've got more celery left, celery left, so I need to make another one. Oh, I haven't got any stock. One of my amazing followers, uh, Team Ginge, has recommended me this So You know I love my, um, what's it called, uh, window swap. This one is where you can pick a place, and it's called Drive and Listen. If you just type Drive and Listen into Google, it'll find it. And you can literally just drive around a city and listen to music. So we're currently in, I don't even know where we are. Uh, I don't know where we are right now, but have a look how gorgeous is this. And, and you can speed up the car. Let's go, go to Antalya, Turkey, obviously. What? Oh my god. I just love it. Oh. oh, you can change the radio station. Wow. Honestly, I'm just transfixed with this freaking website. It's just amazing. This is Chicago, for those of you that didn't know. I didn't know. It's still snowing, not as much, most of it's melted. But it's been snowing all day. It's half five, and I'm really freaking hungry. Still got my cape on. I think this is genius. I am going to have the aubergine aubergine burger things tonight I seriously need to move this stuff she says it every day does she ever do it? no yeah it's half five but I thought if I eat earlier because that's one of my things the reason why I go to bed so late is because I eat late and I don't care about eating late because of you know diet. well not too late because of digestion and stuff but if I eat earlier, hello, then it might be better for me. I've literally been listening to that murder podcast all day. What do I want? Pad Thai. No, I fancy the burger. It says you should always read these. This is what we're cooking. It's Joe Wicks, but I didn't mean it to be Joe Wicks. It is smoky aubergine, avo, lettuce, tomato sandwich. 
it says you need an oven, but I'm going to attempt to use my air fryer. Hopefully it doesn't trip the, trip the fuse box again. Um, okay, let's read it together so that I actually read it. Combine the tamari soy sauce and the smoked paprika, one tablespoon of vegetable oil and grind black pepper into a large bowl. This is your bacon flavouring. Okay, they have done bacon. Add the aubergine slices to the bacon flavouring and give everything a good mix until the aubergine is fully coated. Clean hands are the best way. Line a baking tray with non-stick. Add the coated aubergine. 35 minutes. This is your aubergine bacon. Chop the potatoes into wedges. Chop the potatoes into wedges. Skin on. Add the potato wedges to a baking tray. 35 minutes. Cut the avocado lengthways around the stone. Remove the stone using a teaspoon. Scoop out the avocado, out the skin, and you slice it lengthways finely, apparently. Slice the tomato finely. Remove the leaves of the little gem lettuce and wash them to remove any dirt and set them aside. Shred the inner core. Combine the free from mayo with the Dijon mustard and a piece of a pinch of salt into a bowl. This is your Dijon mayo. Put the ciabatta rolls into an oven until they're hot and crusty. Carefully slice them in half before serving. Spread the warm ciabatta rolls with half of the Dijon mustard. Layer up the avocado, little gem lettuce, tomato slices and your aubergine bacon. Serve with the potato wedges, shredded little gem lettuce and the remaining Dijon mayo on the side. Bosh. Okay. I will say it is so much easier when you read through a recipe first. I am, as you know, never prepared for anything. Never. Wow, I'm so much, I'm so, so much more energy, don't I, today? It's because I got my period last night and that must have been what was draining me. The PMS. Okay, so let's try and put this on. But the thing is now, is I've got like random jars. Look, I've just... <laughs> <laughs> just stood up my just stood up my celery between the toaster. Don't yeah, just that was from the cupboard that I might make another soup. Yeah, I might make another soup tomorrow because that would do for a soup. Just put that there. Oh That's so weird. All I have to do is plug it in. It wasn't even So that must mean I need to unplug some other sockets. And let's turn this off. Oh. oh. I turned the plug off. Oh my god. It looks cute though. <laughs> So, I've spoken to my brother, and he said that because it keeps going, the fuse, the fuse in the plug has gone for my air fryer, which means I need to send it back, which means I can't do my fries. I could just get another fuse, but then it's probably going to go again. So, I'm just going to do them in the frying pan, do them all together.
looks pretty damn good. Where shall I sit? Well, this is gonna be a difficult one, isn't it? <laughs> He's too big for even me. Ah. I mean, oh, <laughs> it's all just so slippery. That aubergine is nicer than I thought it would be. I think it would be nicer in the oven so that it would be not as slimy if we like push it down mm. there's the money shot no pun intended um the lettuce makes it with the crunch I just brushed out my curls <laughs> for no reason. I just wanted to brush my hair and that's what we're left with. But it's half 10. <sighs> I've turned off my phone. I'm in bed. Got my book. Do any of you sleep with a silk pillow? A uh, silk pillowcase? And if you do, do you think it will help with my hair? Not getting so, not getting so tangled. Um, I used to have a silk hair net ages ago, but I think I got rid of it. Um, and if you have one you could recommend, please let me know. Anyway, um, I'm gonna listen to my nice music. Google, play snow on a lake. I looked for snow on a lake, but it either isn't available or can't be played right now. Play Snowstorm ASMR. Playing Heavy Snowstorm on Spotify. Well, that's scary. Play Groaning Creaky Windy Trees. Windy groaning and creaking trees sound by TM Soft's white noise sleep sounds. Sure. Playing on Spotify. <laughs> this sound just reminds me of it being warm, like a warm evening. Lovely. Okay, good night, sleep well.